The following program is paid for and sponsored by Life Extension Foundation. Thank you for joining us. Hanukkah is celebrated as the Festival of Lights. Flames of Freedom is a timeless and highly acclaimed TV special about the historic and contemporary meaning of this special holiday and the struggle for freedom by a heroic few against many oppressors. We are proud to again present this vintage classic, which was first broadcast and repeated year after year on WPBS. This Shalom Show special reflects the universal message of Hanukkah for all people worldwide and every generation. It was written, produced, and hosted by Richard Peretz over 29 years ago, with guests and images reflecting that period in history, with a timeless message for today as well. precariously the flame flickers from an instance in time in which it is nearly extinguished to those moments in which it flares up with light through times of darkness despair and oppression a people has survived throughout centuries enduring by the radiance of its spiritual light happy holiday I am Richard Perry and in this show we'll shed light on this Jewish holiday of Hanukkah the festival of light over darkness of heroism and hope against oppression and despair in the continuous struggle for freedom. We'll begin by joining a family in the joyful lighting of the first candle. Baruch atah Adashem, Elokeinu melech olam, Shehechayanu, Vekiyamanu, Vehigiyanu, Lazman hazeh. The meaning of Hanukkah symbolically also lies in the fundamental struggle of religious and cultural minorities to preserve their integrity against social pressures for assimilation and against coercion by another state. After the conquest of the Middle East by Alexander the Great, the nation of Judea lived in peace, following the hallowed Jewish traditions handed down throughout generations. This peaceful existence was shattered by the designs of King Antiochus of Syria, who sought to uproot Jewish laws and practices and impose Greek ideas and beliefs. He attempted to instill the Hellenistic view of the holiness of beauty in place of the Jewish ideal of beauty in holiness. Gaining control over Jerusalem, Antiochus desecrated the Holy Temple, placed idols within, and tried to force the Jews to abandon their sacred way of life. Some did so, some were influenced by the Greek culture, 
and the power and force of Antiochus and his army. But not far from Jerusalem, in the small town of Modi'in, Mattathias and his five brave sons dared to defy the might of the Syrian forces. Led by Judah Maccabee, the strongest of the sons, a small band of Jews loyal to their religion and their God, resisted the overwhelming forces of the invaders. Against all odds, but with the help of the Almighty, the few defeated the many, the weak vanquished the strong. They rejoiced in their victory as they liberated Jerusalem, but found the holy temple was desecrated. On the 25th day of the month of Kislev, the Maccabees rededicated the holy temple and rekindled the great menorah. They found a small jar with only enough oil to last for one day. The symbolic miracle of Hanukkah is that this small insufficient amount miraculously burned for eight days. Each and every year the menorah is rekindled in memory of the deliverance of the Jewish people and the struggle for religious freedom that has inspired generations of mankind ever since. For centuries, the Jewish people have shown their dedication to the holiday of Hanukkah in their reverence for tradition reflected in the exquisite workmanship in the making of a Hanukkah lamp. For more than 20 centuries, Jewish people all over the world have kindled lights at this time of the year to commemorate the rededication of the temple in Jerusalem that followed the victory of Judah Maccabee over the Syrians in 165 BC. The artistry of different cultures has varied the design of Hanukkah lamps, but the basic concept remains unchanged. Eight lights to recall the eight days in which the small supply of oil found in the temple miraculously burned, plus an additional light known as the shamash, the servant light, to kindle the others. The first Hanukkah lamps were simple Roman oil lamps of clay. From this, they developed the so-called bench light, used in the home, small in size, and with a back wall for protection. In the Middle Ages, the menorah of the temple became the inspiration for a different design. Described in careful detail in the Bible, the menorah has become one of the most important Jewish symbols. It appears only natural that the Hanukkah lamp should have developed from this design. Hanukkah is, however, far more than the lighting of candles or children playing with spinning dreidels as they enjoy some delicious donuts and latkes. Hanukkah reflects profound values and concepts that have shaped Jewish destiny throughout the ages. With us is the Associate Director of the Central Agency for Jewish Education, Mr. Abram Gittelson. Mr. Gittelson, would you shed more light on the significance of Hanukkah uh, past and present? Hanukkah was far more than a struggle for political independence or against the might of the Syrian armies. Hanukkah indeed reflected two world views that clashed at that particular time in history. The Hellenistic world view, which stressed the holiness of beauty, the art, the music, the philosophy, the sculpture, the thought, that has inspired civilization throughout the ages clashed directly with the Jewish worldview, which saw beauty in holiness. 
For the Jew, the moral imperatives of his sacred Torah were the crucial foundation on which all life, both individual and communal, was to be built. For the Jew, the ethical values of the Ten Commandments were those to which he wanted to dedicate his own life and the life of his people, and a culture which threatened to exterminate and to destroy those values had to be resisted at every cost. In addition, Hanukkah represents another clash, the clash between universalism and particularism. The Hellenic worldview suggested that all peoples could lose their own individuality and could find adherence and participation in the overall Greek culture. The Jew sought to maintain his own individuality, his own uniqueness, his own adherence to his Torah values, both at that time and throughout all of history. Indeed, that struggle of the few against the many has been repeated throughout the pages of Jewish history. In every era, there have been dominant cultures which have sought to so influence Jewish life that the uniqueness of our own traditions has been lost. And in every period, the Jew has said that the special and unique values of Jewish life must be preserved, no matter what the cost. Finally, the struggle of those few Maccabees against the many, the pure against the impure, the miracle in those days of Hanukkah have inspired the Jewish people throughout the ages. And even in our own time, we can understand and we can feel the sense of miraculous deliverance that has taken place in the rebuilding of the State of Israel, in the redemption of Jews from the Soviet Union and from lands of oppression, in our gratitude to the Almighty for the miracles of Hanukkah in those days, we understand, we dedicate ourselves and our lives as Jews to preserve our unique traditions and our unique heritage for all time to come. Thank you, Mr. Gittleson. Hanukkah isn't only a holiday no, 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 that no, relates no, to struggle no, and no, conflict no, of worldviews no, and philosophies. No, it's a joyful no, festival no, in which no, prayers no, of praise no, to no, God no, are offered no, and children have fun no, playing with a spinning no, dreidel. No, no. Yeah. Put in one. You put in one. <laughs> On it are the letters that reflect the basic theme of Hanukkah. Nes Gadol Haya Sham. A great oh, miracle so happened fun. there. So or as we say in Israel, Nes Gadol Haya Po. A great miracle took place here. Anybody hungry? No. Oh, yes. Okay. No. All right. Let's. Um. We'll stop playing dreidel now, and we'll. we'll yeah. Can I have one? Stop. Okay. okay. Anybody want? Can I have some applesauce, please? Sure. In countless ages, the darkness of oppression and despair has threatened to envelop the flames that were lit in the Great Menorah on the day of redemption of the victory of the Maccabees. In this generation also, a destruction more terrible than any in the past seemed to extinguish all lights throughout the world. Yet the flame of dedication could never be fully extinguished. It burns on eternally in the shrine of Yad Vashem in Jerusalem. The flames still burn, reminding us not only of destruction, but of spiritual dedication, of heroism of the heart and soul, and the continued existence of the Jewish people.
how distant redemption must have seemed here in this Nazi concentration camp. Empty now, but as shocking and bewildering today as in those days when death and degradation was inflicted upon millions whose belief made them a minority. Cold stones and silent relics stand in gloomy monuments to Jewish lives destroyed. The streets of Warsaw today still bear the memories and the pain shared with those whose last desperate efforts in their fight for freedom is honored here on monuments. Turning darkness into light, despair into hope, a people divided and decimated by war and genocide returns to life. The people of Israel celebrate life. teachers, they are million strong. Replacing the fallen, million children murdered in the Holocaust. through decades of partnership from more than 80 lands on earth. Living in the present, trusting in the future. Their redemption will endure for now, their destiny is in their own hands, in freedom. The struggle for freedom and for the survival of the Jewish people, unfortunately, seems to occur in every generation. Perhaps no other time in history has felt the meaning of the Maccabean struggle as much as the present generation in Israel working to rebuild a Jewish nation after 2,000 years of exile. Heroism is one of Hanukkah's themes. Over land, sea and air, the Israel Defense Forces guard their country. This music, in which we hear the Israel Army Orchestra, perfectly illustrates Israel's dedication to the defense of their homeland, Moledet.
I'd say that's one of the most moving and stirring marches in the world. With me is the Bob Wool family of Hollywood, Florida, whose son Jerry went to Israel to serve in the cause of freedom as inspired by the example of the Maccabees. Jerry served in the Israel army and fell in Operation Peace for the Galilee. I'd like to offer you my condolences. May I ask you, as one of the themes in Hanukkah is heroism, how do you see Jerry's motives in, in going to Israel? I don't think for one moment he ever planned on being a hero. Jerry went to Israel because he needed some reason, some purpose for his life, and he seemed to find it there. His years in Israel were the happiest of his life. And, and he loved Israel. To be an Israeli, you have to serve in the army. And he did it, and he loved his army service. It's unfortunate the way it ended, but what he did, he did for the people of Israel and for Jews of the world. He knew the people he was fighting for because he lived with them. How do you see Jerry's motives, Jay? Well, I, I know that was the place that he loved more than anything in the world. He was, he fought for, for the uh, preservation of a country that he loved, and uh, he did something for every Jewish person. He, he fought to preserve the Jewish life. Israel is full of heroes. I'd like to thank you all very, very much. The message of Hanukkah has always been handed down by generation to generation. Each one transmits the sense of dedication from elder to youngster. The symbol of the flames that were lit in the great temple live on in the torchlight marches all over Israel on Hanukkah and in the torches that are lit in Israel and sent to many Jewish communities throughout the world. Hanukkah, then, is the triumph of righteousness over evil, of few against many, of the vision of a people in its dedication to God and in the never-ending spirit of hope and light the Jewish people have maintained since the days of Abraham. The spirit of Hanukkah is also beautifully conveyed in song. With us are the children of the Rabbi Alexander Gross Hebrew Academy of Greater Miami under the leadership of Mrs. Marlena Tuchinsky with a lovely medley of Hanukkah songs. Chag Sameach, happy holiday. The mission of the Life Extension Foundation is to support scientific research and to gather and disseminate information related to the delay and eventual elimination of disease, aging, and premature death.
The Foundation is careful to commit its research dollars to projects that are difficult or impossible to fund with government dollars, institutional grants, or through other funding sources. It is essential to make anti-aging research a priority today to prevent a health care catastrophe caused by aging baby boomers overwhelming our health care systems. Education is the first step. Education is what the nonprofit Life Extension Foundation has been doing for decades. Established over 37 years ago, the foundation has provided $200 million in funding to biomedical research projects across the country. With your help and support, we will achieve this goal.